Hey everybody, Corey here from Power to Pro. We're here with our product specialist, Kevin. We're gonna show you today the differences between the three main fiber built mats. We've got the performance turf, which is right here. We've got the grass panel. We've got the grass mat here. And then we also have the player preferred section, which we've kind of got all pieces, but we're gonna to try to use the same base. That's considered their studio base. So we'll kind of show you how it goes. Now, we've just taken this out of the box. So you can see that it is a little bit uh, curled at the moment. It will flatten out over time, just how much time we're not 100% sure of. So the, um, on the first one, this is the performance mat. The performance mat, as you can see, is one piece. This is all a T-line turf that they use. So you can actually stick a T in it anywhere. And I'm just gonna grab out ball and a tee so you can actually stick a tee in it tee up anywhere you need to so the nice advantage of this you can hit off every anywhere you need to be you can put off this mat there's it's available in the combo mat uh, available in different sizes so it is a, a good mat in terms of uh, teeing off anywhere and being able to hit in any position the good news again different sizes are available and it can be configured uh, in multiple ways. Now, the three mats that they have here, they're all different in terms of how hard they are on your wrists. Um, they all have a different grab factor. So this one is probably one of the hardest ones on your wrists. Uh, Fiberbuilt is known for their grass mat, which is probably the easiest on the wrists. And so, or on the joints, wrists, however you wanna look at it. And uh, basically with that said, this performance mat uh, is, used a lot at driving ranges. It's a pretty durable one. It's indoor, outdoor, uh, and it can, again, can be configured into different things, but hit off different sizes. So on the base that they use for this performance turf, it's their studio mat. Now, I'm not sure if you're gonna be able to see that over there, but these mats are interlocking mats. So they interlock, and we're just gonna pull these things out with these little pieces here. And they also go into, and I'll bring this up close here. So these pieces, the rubber pieces that connect the mats together. And then there's a pin that goes in the bottom that can connect the two together. So this goes underneath and that'll lock it in place. Wouldn't want to do that for a permanent situation just because these are going to be a lot harder to get out of. But for us, what we're doing today, we're doing it as a portable mat and so we're just putting that pieces in so that rubber base we're going to use that same rubber base and we're going to create the two other mats so what we're going to do here we'll take this mat off and we'll just lie it flat on the ground here you can see how it tends to want to curl up on that so if you are going to be using this for a portable mat um, you will need a place to lie this flat somewhere. That, does, that could be a challenge for some. And as you can see the rubber base, you can see all of our footprints all over the place. We have it in our warehouse bay. Um, it can get dirty pretty quickly. So maybe a little bit more of a challenge to clean. Next phase, we're gonna actually take these rubber connector pieces out. And we're gonna put them off to the side. And then I'm gonna slide this back out. And Kevin's gonna slide that over a little bit more for us. Just give us a little bit. Oh, I think we got enough hay. All right, so the grass mat is made up of this rubber base. It's specific to the grass panel. And so I'll put one back here. All right, and then we're gonna slide this over. Now these rubber bases, they're two by two. There we go. And again, we're not gonna put the pins in them because we don't want it to be a permanent situation here. And now this is the grass panel. So this grass panel is probably the most easy to hit off of. Um, if you do hit it too fat though, it is a plastic base, so it can actually be pretty jarring. So it depends on your hitting style, but the, uh, the challenge with this mat, uh, where Fiberbilt got a lot of requests for, is that because you're getting down underneath the ball pr pretty low, it's gonna hit higher on the face. If it hits higher on the face, then it's gonna go, the launch angle is gonna be higher, the distance is gonna be shorter. So, but it's a great option if you want to have something that's easier on your wrists in general. 
So we've got that, but now we can't use this performance turf because of the height of this. Um, and sorry, not the height, but the, uh, the, the size of that. So now we've got different pieces. And so this grass actually uses the same performance turf that we just had. And we've got it into three pieces now. Now again, you're going to see a bit of that curling up there. We took them out of the boxes just recently. So this will flatten out over time. Um, so a lot of que people question, they said, well, okay, well, th this makes sense. You're going to hit off of here, but why do I need this piece here? And so for this piece, we use it for our GC quad or any kind of sensor that will be beside the ball. So that's why you have a piece there. You can get different configurations of this grass setup, but that is the, the current setup with this. The other advantage to a grass panel system is the wear and tear on this. You can actually see that it's made up of four separate panels. So four 12 by 12 panels held together by an L channel. And so if you start wearing one place down, you can actually switch that panel out with the other panel. Pretty straightforward stuff. Uh, just, just need to be handy with a couple of screws. So not too bad there. So that's the grass panel mat system. Um, both of these, all three of these mats can be done as a, um, a combo mat. So the combo mat will allow you to have putting on there as well. But when you're doing a combo mat with these pieces, you'll have two different surfaces between putting and where you're standing and, and where you're hitting from. So uh, well, let's move this over. We're gonna actually going to now create the player preferred series. So move from a grass panel. And just in case you're wondering, the fire built grass has a T hole that you can stick a rubber T into. And again, that rubber T while Kevin's setting this thing apart and pulling this apart, we can just show the rubber tee just goes into the back side and then you can stick a tee right into the top and it's adjustable. So it's a easy way to stick a rubber tee in that. Um, or you can always use a burr tee uh, or a winter cup tee. So now we're going to try to change this from a grass panel over to a fiber built player preferred series. This fiber built player preferred series. I'm gonna give you a little bit of room there, Kevin. And you got those, okay. There we go. Okay. Very good there, okay. So I'm just gonna slide this up over here. Again, we're using just the same base to just show you the differences here. All right, makes it really easy and portable. So now we have a different height here. So we're actually going to use putting turf on this. Now this one, this player preferred series, this section right here is a fusion of three different layers. So you've got a rubber base, you have a gel section in the middle, and then you have the turf on top of that. So it's actually heat pressed together, so you don't have to worry about glue coming apart or anything like that. It is pretty solid um, for the tees. Again, you can use your rubber tee holder, stick it underneath. You can hit off of a burr tee or however you want winter cup tees, those kind of things. So you can see that we've got our putting turf and our player preferred mat. They call this a pure impact panel. And I believe that, might, that uh, may be changing, but they're still calling this the player preferred series. Um, has a large hitting area. One of the advantages is a lot of times guys will buy a combo mat because they want the putting as well. So when you get a combo mat, it's actually one piece of turf, one piece of putting turf. So instead of one piece here, one piece here, you have one piece that actually comes across the whole thing with a cutout for your hitting area. Um, so on that, the player preferred, the gel section is gonna be a little bit easier on your wrists than the performance turf but not as easy as the grass turf, but it does have a lot more accuracy. So one of the things that Fiberbilt said to us, that in their testing, they found that this was the most accurate hitting surface that they offer. So most people, when they actually hit it, they're hitting it where they would normally hit it out on the course. So I think that's it, unless Kevin has anything to add here. The uh, one thing though is you can't hit off of this, but you can hit off of this. Right. And um, that's very important. 
Yeah, so you don't want to be hitting off the putting turf. It's just, it's going to be a jarring on the wrist. It's also going to wear out faster. It's not designed for hitting off of. So if you've got a certain space, uh, then you want to be making sure that you can hit off that area and not need to move it around. So I think that's pretty much quick rundown of all the three different mats. Hopefully that makes sense. Again, the combo mats. Now there is one thing I will add that I almost forgot. The traditional mat base is one piece of rubber. So instead of having all these three, all these panels as separate panels, they have one single rubber base. So if you want to have something really solid, it only works with the grass mat system. They still do have that available by special order only. And I think that kind of tells us of kind of the rundown, the differences of the mat. We're gonna do a separate video with all of testing using a GC quad or one of our, our sensors to see how well those readings are and uh, get some more hits on it, do some more testing, and hopefully that'll give us a little bit more answers. For more information, you can always visit us at www.par2pro.com.